Welcome. So while we're talking about vulnerability management, let's talk about who conducts the vulnerability management and who are the teams and resources who will be responsible for various steps in the vulnerability management. So a number of teams and resources may be involved in the vulnerability management lifecycle. Now here's a chart showing the activity, the team who conducts that activity, and who is performing the supporting role. So first of all, you analyze the assets, and this is the vulnerability management lifecycle which we saw in one of the earlier modules. You analyze the assets, you really have to understand what assets are out there, you have to organize your assets, you have to look at the IP information, the subnet, this is done by, primarily by the InfoSec team and helped and supported by the IT ops team because they may have further information. And you prepare the scanner, you take a look at what type of scan will be done, what are the type of plugins, are credentials required. And this would be done by the InfoSec team. If necessary, you can obviously get help by the uh, relevant team. But because we're only preparing the scanner here, mostly this is just done by the InfoSec team. Then you run the vulnerability scanner and this is also done by the InfoSec team. The scan is actually run. You assess the results. Here, the InfoSec team performs the activity and organizes the entire vulnerability assessment report or VA report. And the IT ops team will help them because they may have further information uh, related to the category of assets and the location of assets and the ownership of the assets. So you assess the results and organize the results and issue a report. and then. Uh, that report also obviously goes to the IT ops team. And then finally, in, in step five, you test and patch the systems, which is an activity conducted by the IT ops team or the relevant IT departmental team and supported by InfoSec. And you then verify or rescan, which is an activity performed by information security team, assisted by IT ops team because they may need to coordinate with, uh, with the information security team just to make sure there are no bugs or errors in the report. And then you report the findings to uh, the management, which is done by information security team, and the IT steering committee will actually review this. So the role of information security team, just to uh, summarize, it takes the primary own ownership of the vulnerability management process. It runs the scanning after coordinating with the relevant IT ops team. It shares the scanning reports with IT teams and with the management. And the role of InfoSec team is continued. It tracks the remediation timelines and makes sure that the entire activity is, is being completed on time. It understands criticality issues and helps to prioritize uh, where necessary. Um, you know, certain patches may be more critical and it, they, they may be, uh, need, we may need to pass them on onto certain uh, senior managers, for example, or department heads because of the criti criticality. So you help to prioritize also. And the InfoSec team studies the security patch details as a backup resource. So, you know, the IT ops team will take the primary responsibility for studying and understanding what the patch will do because they have the ownership of the asset. They will apply the patch. But the information security team sometimes needs to challenge the IT team. And they need to have the equivalent knowledge in order to drive and, and have complete ownership of the security of the vulnerability management program. So they also need, the information security team also needs to study. Uh, the about the patch um, and the security uh, patch details. And then they assist with change management process and drive the change management process. The role of the IT ops team. Now, what do they do? They are owner of the IT asset. So whatever changes ha happen to the IT asset, it will be done by the IT ops team. They receive the vulnerability scan report from the InfoSec team. They study it, they evaluate it, they understand the vulnerabilities, they read about them, they go and research about them. They understand the criticality impact and dependencies related to that uh, patch and the impact that it'll have. And they help the InfoSec team develop a project plan if required um, and timelines for the patching is, is mutually agreed here uh, between InfoSec and IT ops team. They test the patches in the test environment. They take backups and develop a rollback plan and they get ready and then manager will guide them and ensure that the rollback plan the impact, the information to the business team is all going out. They take downtime and ownership of the change management process. Um, also from the technical perspective, they implement the patches obviously on the relevant IT asset. They monitor the systems after the patch is implemented. They roll back the entire activity if necessary. And they create the necessary documentation as well. So as you can see, 
Both teams have to work in tandem and they have to work very closely in coordination. An InfoSec team has to work with multiple IT teams because the scanning may take place with multiple departments involved, the network team, the servers team, or the IT operations team, and the software team and other teams as well. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.